Peter Charles here from Fly, Fly Fishing. And welcome to my vlog on uh, steelhead takes. Uh, now, my local river is 100% natural reproduction. There's no stocking. So we have lean years and we have good years. And I've noticed that the difference between a good year and a lean year is quite noticeable in the way fish take. Uh, the steelhead do a lot of these little subtle plucking takes in lean years, but in good years where there's a lot of fish on the river, those fish are really slamming the fly. So it's like, what's going on? Why one kind of take in lean years and a different kind of take in, a, in a good years? Well, I've been thinking about that and wondering if it isn't uh, about the amount of competition that's going on between the fish. In other words, uh, if there's three or four fish in a run and a, and a fly swings by, uh, the fish uh, might be more aggressive at going after the fly than when there's only one fish. Think about how uh, kids react. I mean, if you've got kids or grandkids, you've seen this behavior countless times. Uh, a child's playing on the floor, and there's a toy off in the corner, and it's being ignored. And then um, another child comes in the room, grabs the toy, and the first child has a screaming fit and wants the toy. You know, they didn't want the toy when the other child didn't have it. And I see the same thing with starlings out in our uh, yard. We have a relatively large lawn. And we get starlings coming down to feed on the bugs. And when there's only a handful of starlings and they're spread out, there's no interaction between them. They ignore each other. But when there are a lot of starlings and they're only a few feet apart, there's a lot of aggression, a lot of bullying going on. So the numbers of fish in the run or the number of starlings on our lawn seems to influence their behavior. So for us as fly fishermen, what are we supposed to do when we're in a lean year? Should we be doing something different versus a good year? Well, the answer to that is yes, most definitely. Uh, two things. Um, when you're dealing with a lean year, I think we need a lot more of a downstream presentation, which comes across the water very slowly, presents more slowly as if it's cold water. Even when it's warm, I think cold water type presentation works. And the other thing is I think we probably need some stinger flies. I don't like stinger hooks. Okay, I'll, t I'll be honest. I don't like that style of fly. But the reality is you get a lot of these subtle plucking takes uh, in these lean years. It's the fish have all the time in the world to come up, have a look, give a little pluck. You know, and if you've got a stinger hook, you have a chance of hooking that fish. In a good year, when there's two, three or four fish in the run, you could fish a, a fly on an ordinary salmon hook, like my uh, black nose dace weemer. Fish it high, fish it broadside, fish it fast, and those fish will come up and slam it. Uh, I mean, it's a great fun when they do it. But, yeah, there's three or four fish in the run. The weemer goes ripping by, and one of them goes, bang, grab it before the other fish get a hold of it. So I think we're seeing a difference in the competition between the fish when there's only one. The fish can take its time. It can come up, take a look at the fly, take a little nip, and go, yeah, I don't like it. Go back to the holding spot and ignore it. No, no uh, second chances on the fish, nothing. They've had their fill. But boy, when there is a lot of fish in the run, you get second chances, even third chances of the fish. You get really hard takes. You know, there's a lot of aggression going on, a lot of um, eager fish going after the fly. So, you know, keep that in mind. If you're, if you're dealing with a river like mine, where there's some years there aren't very many fish in the runs, and you're getting these little plucking subtle takes, and that's it, nothing else, I think it pays to, uh, you know, be using flies with the stinger hooks, going for more of a cold water presentation where we're going downstream at a sharp angle, letting the fly come across very, very slowly, get the fly deep, closer to the fish, and, um, and get a better shot at getting those, you know, casual fish that I'll have all day to have a look at our flies. So it's something to think about. That the more fish there are in the run, the more competition, the more aggressive they'll be. And when the run is almost empty, well, they can take their time. So give that some thought, and maybe that'll help your fishing. Cheers.